And I, so I sat down, not thinking any better of it. She walked over, she said, you know, what do you want to drink in German? And I, I was like, at, at all of a sudden, completely overwhelmed by how I don't speak German. <laughs> I've been German and I don't speak German. I hadn't looked at the menu. Coming to you virtually live from the Beard of Whiskey Studios, high atop Barley's Tap Room on Washington Street in wonderful downtown Greenville, South Carolina. I'm Russ Heaps, and welcome to this episode of Big John in Five. Named for my good buddy here, Big John Richards, who is our beer whisperer. And uh, he picks a beer from one of Barley's 72 or so taps, one of their 50, 60 bottles and cans. We sniff it, we sip it, we get bits about it. John tells us a little bit about the uh, brewery and sometimes a little bit about brewing. And through all that, throughout all this, I'm a little tongue-tied because we're... It's been a rough morning. It's been a rough morning. We're rushing a little bit today, or I am anyway. Uh, and I forget even where I was. But we get to drink a little we're, beer while we're, we're doing this. We're yeah. through. Yeah, we're... We're, <laughs> oh, we're in a muddle throat. Oh, my God. For and you. It's like, yeah. It's, it's, well, right now, we're basically on auto. I'm on autopilot, and I'm doing this for me. But, <laughs> but be that as it may, John, what do we have? All right, so we have Paul Lanner. Paul Lanner. Paul Lanner. Paul, Paul we went through this the last time we did yeah. one of their beers. I still, I still don't know how it's pronounced. Yeah. I just came back from Germany, and that's one of the reasons why we're drinking this thing. It's near as I could tell if you were in Germany, it would be, you'd almost get rid of the AU entirely. It's just like Paul Lanner. But it sounds better with Hold the rest it. of the words you're using are German than if you're Hold trying to squeeze it. Well, if you if you weren't looking at how it's spelled, well, it, you it, could yeah. just say Paul Lanner, nobody knows. Nobody would know. But it looks like Paul Lanner, and that's the way a lot of people in the States pronounce it. But well, we're not going to do that. Yeah, we're going to pronounce it Paul Lanner. Paul Lanner. Paul Lanner. Paul Lanner. So. <laughs> Write that down. I, was, I guess every time we do this beer, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> so, um, I was, I, I'm frankly, fairly excited to try this beer because I had this, this Hefeweizen in a couple of times in Germany. And so I'm excited to see how it kind of compares to what I had over there. John, in his infinite wisdom, oh, man. got in an airplane and flew over to, it was primarily, you started off in Germany. Well, it was, it was intended to primarily be a trip to Germany. Right. And with abs with virtually no plans, no thought, no... Oh, no, with no plans. With nothing booked. I started, I started booking hotel rooms and canceled them all. Yeah. Well, be Airbnbs. Because, because, heaven forbid, you should have something set up ahead of time. No. So he goes over there. He doesn't speak the language. He goes over there for a month. I speak a little of German, but not the rest of it. Un poco. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm Bishop. I'm Bishop. That's what, in case you need it in Germany, no, I'm Bishop. <laughs> yeah. And which, or zero, zilch, zip. I don't know what the word is for zero. But, I'm not uh, giving you that one. Okay. But anyway, so off he goes to Germany and for a month, and he winds up in Belgium and Czechoslovakia and uh, Amsterdam and other places. Quite the adventure. Quite the adventure. Quite the adventure. Quite the adventure. And you can, you can uh, see a lot of it because he posted a lot of it on... BigJohnBCS.com, and there's no H in John. No so, H in yeah. John. And in fact, some of the... Depending on when you see this, some of the blog may still not be all the way updated because I'm updating it piecemeal while I edit and get everything back the way it's supposed to be. John, John's in no hurry. John's in no hurry. <laughs> Huge hurry. The rest of the world gets in the way. It does. Life, <laughs> life rears its ugly head. So we're drinking a half of Weizen, and this is one of the classic world beer styles. And this is the famously the Germans passed, uh, or the Bavarians, passed a purity law in 1512. Well, in 1512, so maybe 1516. I've never been good at dates. 
Yeah. That far back, what's two or three years? <laughs> I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not sure it matters. So the law stated that you could only brew beer with barley. Three ingredients. Three. In 1512, it was three ingredients. Oh, my God. Barley, hops, and water. Because nobody knew what yeast was. Back then, there was, there, there, there was no knowledge of microorganisms at all. So that had to be added in much later, and now the, the current version of the law states that you can brew with barley, hops, water, and yeast. But then, but now it also, there's, I mean, you can go read the thing for yourself. It's only, it's not very long. Um, but it does provide a, an exception in general for brewing with wheat. But in, in originally, it did not even provide an exception. You had to be already brewing with wheat and grandfathered in to even be able to brew wheat beer. They're very strict. <clears throat> hey, we're trying to make sure that bad beer didn't hit the market or people wouldn't take advantage of you based on your beer. So what you're, what you're saying is uh, there are certain beers that we have here that you probably Oh, there are a ton Couldn't of beers here. Bit. Yeah. Their brewers are just not allowed like, like, to brew with, like, raspberries. You or can't. how about Mick Ultra? Right. They actually produce that over there. Well, not with rice. Oh, well, see, there you go. <laughs> I wish we had that law here. Yeah. So, uh, so, all these beers are brewed in a slightly different way than they might be brewed in other parts of the world. Uh, but this is one of the classics, and Paul Honor started in... Uh, 1634, so they're not even so far removed from the original Bavarian purity law, and they're one of the six breweries that's uh, that's represented at Oktoberfest. They're only even in, in Munich, only six brewers can participate in Oktoberfest, and Paul Honor's one of them. So they are one of the very staid, very traditional German breweries, and. There are beers everywhere. I mean, this is the, the, the number one selling wheat beer in the world. Wow. According to them. <laughs> Which, I can't imagine why they would claim to be that and not be that, but self-professed, best-selling wheat beer in the world. <laughs> well, I'll tell you some of the things I think I excel at, but, yeah, well, but we're not going to go It's a different that. show. Again, it Russ, is. different is. show. So, the, the Hefeweizen is... Um, a little bit of beer history, even though we haven't started drinking yet, is Hefe, H-E-F-E H -E -F -E is the German word for yeast. Weizen is the German word for wheat. So if you see Hefe Weizen, it means it's a wheat beer brewed with yeast, but like every beer. Um, so that's why we have this cloudy appearance, because there is a, it's unfiltered, there is a suspension of particulate matter inside this beer. And, and you, you can't see it because the lights are coming this way. Right as opposed to that way, but it is gorgeous. Yeah, it looks it's, real pretty. It's a, it's a darker, sort of almost an orange up at the top, and then comes down, and it's a pale yellow at the bottom. And that's one of the reasons this beer is served in this glass, and why I uh, John, poured it in a full-size glass for us, so that we could have the full visual experience John's, as well. John's making me drink a lot of beer mm -hmm. at this point. Normally, we used to, if you look at the old episodes, we used to drink pints of pretty much everything. <laughs> and uh, but when you do 10 of these a day and you decide you want to finish all those pints, that's a lot of beer. So now we do 10 ounces and snifters and that sort of thing. But yep. John and this insisted. Is he, he insisted. It's a very pretty beer, but it's also an easy beer. It's 5.5%. Okay. You get this in Germany, it's usually served as a half liter. Um, and I think these are liter or, or um, 17 ounce glasses which is a half liter. But a lot of times uh, you'll see the beer, the glass will be much bigger because most of the time this beer is poured and has, you know, two or three inches ahead on the top of it. And that's the way you get it in Germany. You don't, you don't get it any other way. I mean, they, if they don't, if there's not enough head on it, they add head. <laughs> they, have, they have faucets that are specifically designed so they can only partially open them and fill the top of the head space with head. I'm with them on this. Moorhead is good. I'm with them. Yes, Moorhead. <laughs> Moorhead is better. All right, let's uh, taste this thing. Yeah, we've been rattling on here and haven't done any of so this. So what you're going to taste is banana and clove. And that's all products of the yeast fermentation. Texas lily. Uh, that's right up on the front of the nose. There's that big banana thing going on. Yeah. 
And I smell the clove a little too, but the clove always comes in on the finish for me. Wow, that is so crisp. It is. That is amazingly, remarkably. Yeah. And this is closer to what I remember. Like when I went, when I got to Germany, the first beer I had was a Paul Honor Hefeweizen because there was a Paul Honor pub in the train station where I landed and I couldn't figure out where I was going because I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> Which is, if you knew John, you would go, I'm not surprised. <laughs> So I, I, I find myself in this Paul Hunter pub, and I walked in, and, the, and I also didn't know you're not supposed to sit at the bar. So I walked right up to the bar. Talk about, talk about I that. I will. Okay. I will. But I walked right up to the bar, and I was like, there was only like four, four or five people in there. So she kind of gave me a funny look, and I was like, is it okay to sit here? And I asked it in German, and she said yes, of course. And I, so I sat down, not thinking any better of it. She walked over, she said, you know, what do you want to drink in German? And I, I was like, all of a sudden, completely overwhelmed by how I don't speak German. <laughs> and I was, and I had to, I've been German and I don't speak German. That's... I hadn't looked at the menu. I hadn't had a chance to acclimate myself to anything. I just stepped off the train and I, and I, and I went, uh, the, 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 Weizen, 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 Weizen. And she goes, I guess that's the only word I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> so this was the first beer I had in Germany. <laughs> and I, when I did, I, well, I, I, I I'm thought, I'm going to enjoy it even a little more. It's so quite a bit, I, I wrote that I felt it was quite a bit more crisp than I remembered it being in the States. but. It's, this is closer to what I remember from Germany than I was expecting it to this be. This is delicious. Yeah, and it is. And they, they make one of the best in the world, and they're rightfully the most popular, or the uh, most sold, I guess, wheat, uh, wheat beer in the world. Because this is classic. I mean, this is one of the beers that defines the style. So if you're looking for what Weizen is supposed to taste like, that's it. And it is real nice. I think maybe over there, I got a little bit more of a, of a brisk kind of hoppiness out of this. Just a touch more bitterness out of the, out of the hops. I'm not, I'm not getting much in the way of they, It's a little dry, but I'm yeah. not really getting anything bitter out of this. They, uh, they list Hercules hops, which is not one of the noble hops, um, uh, which I was only a little bit surprised to find is not in this, is being used in this beer. Uh, and it was the only hop. But I think maybe in Germany I got a little bit more of that briskness because I think I get, it's a little creamier, especially on the finish, than I think it was in Germany. But it's still such a crisp beer and it's such a good, refreshing beverage. And the first time I, the first time I even thought about trying, wanting a wheat beer and come out from spending 16 hours in the sun and walked into downstairs Barley's when I still worked here, and I was like, oh, I think I want a freaking Heath place. And, and I got that thing and got about that far into the glass on my first sip, about that far into the glass on my first sip. I've seen him do it. <laughs> I set it down, I was like, oh, I get it now. <laughs> Anything else? Well, you wanted me to talk about not sitting at the bar in Europe. Let's do that. With well, another, With another beer? We'll do yeah. that with another beer. We'll do that with another yeah. beer. Hey, that's a, uh, that's in the business, we call that a teaser. And, and <laughs> in the video production business, we call that getting the heck out of this <laughs> so I don't have too much stuff to add. So. <laughs> that's, good. that's a good problem to have. So, so damn lucky. See you next time. <laughs>